Hey guys, what's up? It is Friday night. I'm home talking to my computer. The cool girls do, right? <laughs> well, I do it for you. And today, I'm very excited. It's our very first Ask We Love date, Friday. Um, and I did get some questions last week, which made me very happy. So keep them coming. We'll keep talking about them. Maybe we'll get some guest vloggers to come help me out. You won't have to see me say, um, and touch my hair too much. Anyway, first question for Ask We Love Dates, where uh, hopefully I help solve some of your dating dilemmas. Um, it's from Jennifer, and she asks, when is the right time to have sex when you're getting into a relationship with someone? So, this is not a black and white um, answer, and there's really no con concrete answer with this. But I will say that you should go slow, you know, take your time, and don't give it up just for the sake of doing it. Unless <laughs> this is the kind of dating situation you want, if you're looking for something that's like no strings attached or friends with benefits, totally different. And by all means, have fun, bag it up, be safe. But, you know, go get yours, whatever. <laughs> However, when we're talking about getting into a relationship, we're thinking long term and, you know, something serious. So my understanding and my um, experience with myself and also my friends is having sex on the first date is kind of a no-no. And, yeah, there are those people who will tell you that they met and the sparks flew and they slept together that first night, and they've been together ever since, have 20 kids, two houses, and they're, you know, as happy as they can imagine. Great. Love it. But I would say that that is the exception, not the rule. And the rule seems to be things are going great on the first date, oh my God, chemistry, the passion is there, sex, and then the next day you never hear from them again. I don't know why guys do this. Well, actually, I have my opinions, so we'll talk about that later. Um, so no sex on the first date if you're looking for a serious relationship. Um, with that said, you never want to feel pressured to give it up. So if you've been dating for a couple of weeks and you're still not ready, you're still unsure, that's totally fine. And never go there simply because you're afraid he's going to leave you or she's going to leave you. Some girls and girls do it too, trust me. <laughs> so, um, also, you want to make sure that he knows that you don't do this with just anyone. No guy wants a girlfriend who gives it up too easily because, yeah, he's special, but I know that he'll also be thinking that you did it with so many other guys before him, and that's not really attractive. So while there isn't a concrete answer, my answer is keep dating, wait it out. If you have to ask, you're probably not ready yet. Um, you'll know when it feels right. All that cheesy romantic novel stuff is true. So if you're unsure, if you have that weird feeling in your stomach, don't do it. And if he doesn't wait around, he's not worth it. But there will be somebody out there who will take his, take his time. I mean, it's what you want anyway. You want someone that's going to respect you and respect your relationship. So. I hope that helped, Jennifer. Thank you for your question. And keep sending me questions. I know that I might not be the expert. Well, wait. Yes, I am. I am the expert. Keep sending them. <laughs> and um, let me know what's going on. Jennifer, let me know what you think. And also let me know what you think about my answer to Jennifer's question. If you have any advice for her, I'm sure she would love, love to hear it. So have a happy weekend. Be safe. You know what I mean? <laughs> And um, I will talk to you next Friday. Bye.